So this is where I'm starting today. This is a heck of a mess. You know, this has actually started to dry up a bit, but <clears throat> they really make these campers to fail. They design them to fail. I'm surprised how little material they can put into these and have them hold together. Now, I've been involved in framing more than one house and man, you know, you wonder why building codes are what they are. Well, you look into how a, build, a camper is built and you see why building codes are the way they are. Because if you didn't have building codes that specified how a house is to be built, they'd build them like a camper. And this is just disgusting the way this is built. I mean, it's just a disgusting mess, but the design is disgusting. So here's the major problem with this system. These floor joists, and I'm going to call them floor joists because there's no other word for them. They're the the supports under the flooring. This is half inch flooring. The floor joists are on 12 inch centers. There's a little bigger gap here, but uh, they're inch and a half tall and uh, they don't look to be more than an inch and a quarter wide. So what they've done here is they've laid a, a sheet of aluminum. It's actually pretty nice material for, for the right purpose. But they've laid a sheet of alumin, aluminum on the frame rails of the trailer. They've put some fiberglass insulation on top of that. And then they've laid the floor joist directly on top of the fiberglass insulation. Instead of putting the insulation between the joist like you would in a house. So, I mean, that's whatever. You can do that, I guess, in this application. You can do any of this in this application. But then they put the flooring on top of that. So, A, there's no vapor barrier. So there's nothing keeping the moist inside air away from the cold outside air. So you're going to get condensation. Additionally, you're going to get infiltration from these crappy old windows. Water coming down in here. You're also going to get the occasional spillage from day-to-day -day use of this space. And the problem that you've created here is you've created a cavity that includes insulation, which is a sponge, and wood, which is a sponge and a, a, a point of rot, and that's your structure, so you don't want that to rot. This space will never, ever, 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 in a million years, dry out, because you've got aluminum sheet on one side, and a plywood sheet on top. So you can see what's happened to the, the structure here. It's rotted, it's just it's just vaporized. Some of it's okay yet. This window has been bad, I guess. So not only that, but I'm digging down into the end here. This is what I would call a bottom plate in a house. I don't even know what that's sitting on, to be honest. I have to dig into there farther to see what it's sitting on. And then that's the outside cladding of the structure of the whole building. Uh, so I need to get some more of this paneling off, look in here, replace what I would call bottom plate. And uh, I'm gonna take this uh, aluminum sheet out of here. Uh, it's just gonna be open. I don't need insulation for my purpose. So it's going to be fresh. Uh, floor joist in here and fresh uh, flooring. This is a half inch flooring as stated. I'm going with a 5 8 flooring. It's a tongue and groove flooring so it'll go together real nice. And the distance between these two walls is uh, about 7 foot 4. So I just cut a little off the end of each of my flooring panels there 4 by 8 and they should go right in here. Uh, so I need to do some more. I need to get the end of that plywood out of there, etc. This is going to be a hell of a nice job. So that's what today's going to look like.
not sitting on anything. There's a gusset right up here into the corner that it sits on. And there's a whole gusset somewhere else, but not for a long ways back. A long ways back here. Well, throwing the junk on the ground really isn't a good idea. You just got to pick it up again. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do though, but I can't, I can't burn it here. I mean, it's just wood. I don't mind burning wood, but uh, there's too many staples and fasteners and screws and things in it. Wherever I burn that, it's going to have all that stuff laying around. So uh, my municipal dump is not too far from here. They charged me a little bit of money to take it there, but uh, not very much. It's probably going to cost me 40 bucks for a load or something like that. So I'll just I'll just keep loading the trailer. I've picked up everything off the ground so far, except for a few items here that I haven't decided on. It should be nice if somebody could claim that nice jackknife bed. You put a mattress on that and a cover and. I think it'd be a useful unit. There's a tub, there's a couple sinks there, and you know, I've taken the appliances away. Boy, I'll tell you, this project, you ever start one of those projects and shortly after you start, you kind of regret ever starting? Well, this is one of them. The farther I get into this, the uh, worse things are. But anyway, we'll keep working away here. I've got a lot of demolition to go before I put any new material in it. Uh, so we'll we'll keep at that and then we'll make some decisions as, as we go So anyway, I need to get in there and and pitch a lot of this junk into the trailer now and uh, Then continue on the the demolition of that floor. What a rotten stinky awful horrible mess that is Man, that's I, I can't wait till that that part's done. I love rebuilding things but demolition when it's that disgusting is pretty disgusting Hey kitty you better stay out. Okay? Things are going to come flying out of here. You don't want to be under it. And you think maybe I'm kind of short and that's because I'm standing on the ground <clears throat> I've got uh, nearly eight feet of this floor taken up what an awful thing I I'm used to building things nice and I'm used to building things well when I take something like this apart I just gotta shake my head I don't know how they get away with this these frame rails, of course, this is it's just a trailer, right? So these frame rails across here, they sure are wide. Um, and there's nothing in the middle to support anything. These cross members really are not very strong. And uh, actually, every time I walk into my camper, I could hear a squeak. 
and I thought, oh, maybe one of these cross members broke loose and I'm gonna have to re-weld it. Well, it didn't, just that when you step on these, they, they twist real bad. And right down the middle of the camper is the gas line coming from the front going back to the various appliances. So what was happening was that one, you can't see it there, the next one along, uh, the gas line is held up against these cross members with a little U-bolt welded in there. And uh, every time you step on the floor, the cross member would twist and it would scrape on the gas line and squeak. So that's a real good thing that it would scrape on the gas line every time. So all the structure in this thing made out of two by twos. Crappy two by twos. Crappy two by twos, not even good two by twos. All the studs. That almost looks like 16 inch centers. But there was a two by two across here. So there's a gusset going out to the corner here. And you know, the gusset doesn't even go all the way. Only about half of this corner two by two sits on it. But this wall sits on a two by two between this gusset and back here at the door. It's a pretty long span, I think. And what's even longer uh, is the, the next span over here. This one actually isn't as long. The two by two in this corner is actually in a little better shape. But what I have to do is put uh, a plank here. Thankfully, all of the floor supports are inch and a half thick. Uh, so I can lay a plank. I think I'll lay a two by four down here. Lay a two by four down here and then maybe just do two by four supports the whole way all the way back i don't know if i want to go 16 or, tw or uh, 12 inch centers oem is 12 inch two by fours are not very strong for floor joist especially laying on the flat like that so maybe a two by four on 12 inch centers it's going to be lots but i'd rather put a few more than a few not enough so not much to say here other than what an awful job. So there's a lot of good wiring here. I'm gonna try and preserve that and roll it up. There's some good heavy wire. There's some number 12 there. That wall, it doesn't look bad. The two by two on, on that wall is in reasonable condition, but I can't see in the wall with it there. I'll likely still have to take it out, take that wall apart much like this wall this is the outside sheeting of the camper there's there's nothing you know you wonder why you bother but there's a lot of rot there i'm going to sister some of these to make them proper i'll likely put a two by four in there as well see what they did here is they 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 put uh they put a two by two at the bottom of the wall and then they ran another one beside it on the inside for the for the floor to sit on. That makes no sense to me. So I think I'm gonna put a two by four in there. You know, that's three and a half inches. This is two. I think this is two. Yeah, that might be inch and a half. Anyway, so that'll give me a bottom plate for the wall. And then that'll give me an end for my sheeting to sit on. So once I get these uh, pieces in here, uh, four feet back, I can put my first sheet of plywood in here. Picked up some nice 5 8 for tongue and groove flooring. Uh, so it's actually the, you know, the correct thing for a flooring job. I'm sure it's airy in here. The wind blowing in under the walls like that. Well, I guess I need to take that wall apart there before I can really go any further. It's all bolted. It's all bolted to the frame, which is nice to see. Bolts are all rusty. Wood's all rotten. But um, I'm, I'm probably going to re-bolt that. Because if I don't, there's really nothing holding it to the, to the trailer. So I really I need to get some bolts, I guess. I hate these twisty cross members here. But you know, with my new flooring 
see <laughs> I don't know if you noticed with the other floor the, the pieces the floor joists never went all the way across they were just in short sections and whatnot so the floor actually rested on these twisty cross members but I want to put floor joists all the way across and that way the floor joists are not going to be supported primarily by these twisty floor joists you should be much stronger my floor will be an eighth of an inch thicker because this is half inch plywood <coughs> on this floor I bought five eighths just because I am who I am no other reason my door might be a bit of an issue uh, because it's kind of set in place I can't you know the wall I can put new sheeting on or whatever I want to do with that down to the floor but the wall the the door is where it is so I'll figure that out that is a little more than two sheets out of eight that I have pulled up I kind of got it figured out though working on the ground is the way to go <clears throat> so I don't want to finish this all off before I you know go further I'll put one sheet in here kind of get my groove on as to what I want to do and then I'll I'll work on the next one because um, kneeling on the ground here is very helpful to taking this all up because you you know you're working 12 inches up or so uh, so that's nice it's just a lot of work this is going to take me a long time and it's not going to be done today the only thing that was holding it up much of the floor was the aluminum pan. Once I started cutting that pan through, everything just collapsed. Oh my goodness. And this, uh, having the trailer here sure helps. Loading that up. Take that to the dump pretty quick, it's getting full. The bees are going today, it's, uh, well when I came out after lunch it was 12 degrees. I think it's warmer now. An extremely nice day particularly considering what we've had there's no wind there's almost no wind you can see that these windows are open you can see the curtains are hardly moving it's just been a real stiff north wind for a week or better and today is gorgeous and the bees are having a good time you can see they're taking some of their feed which is good to see but you know what's going to happen? I'll get this floor done. There are seven and a half sheets. This is a 32 foot trailer. Seven and a half sheets of plywood. I'll get that floor all done. Then I'll take a look at that ceiling. Uh, I know darn right that it's leaked and it's rotten. So I'll be half done this project. You really should fix the roof first, right? Oh well. My municipal dump is not real far away. However, they have a pretty strict bylaw about tarping your load. And they will fine you if they see you with the load is not tarped. This tarp isn't quite big enough, but I got two of them. Hopefully that'll work. I have a much nicer tarp, which is big enough. But I hate using that on uh, loads of junk that are prickly because it tends to get a bunch of holes poked at. And then it's not a nicer tarp at all after that. So this rather cheap tarp should do the trick. Two rather cheap tarps, I should say. Get the 
other tarp. It's dusty, sneaking around. Hey kitty, am I doing this right? Well that wind, you know, we had a terrible, terrible wind here for a week. It was awful. 50 kilometer an hour out of the north. And today, today nothing. Like it, it just isn't like it. It's a little bit windy today. It's not windy at all. This is a very light tarp and it's not moving around on me. Which is very nice. Hey, sweet. How you feeling? Good. Go for a walk? Yeah. Yeah. Filled the filled the trailer out of the camper today. I don't really have a I'm out of rope. <laughs> My rope's not long enough. Well, I'll tie it here and then put some rubber straps on it. Oh yeah. It's not a heavy duty problem. Yeah, oh yeah. Lots of people don't tarp at all. Oh well. Just that, uh, I had my old tarp, I had it set up real nice with the proper rope and everything. And I haven't achieved that quite yet with the the new tarp. This isn't my new tarp, but the same deal. I haven't fixed it up with the proper rope. Okay, have fun. Not a great tarping job, but we'll get there. Get there and keep me out of municipal jail. Okay, I think we're gonna go. So I think I'm gonna put my straps away and go in for some supper.